I'm literally only doing this fucking match review because I haven't missed one in three years. Because I can't be us. I just can't be us. We've lost. Everyone knows it. Rivals are going to be loving it. Yeah, whatever. Shut the fuck up. I can't be bothered. Honestly, just can't be bothered. I want to end the video right now. But <sighs> I'm going to have to go through the game, aren't I, man? <sighs> Why? 3-1, <sighs> just... Just... It... <laughs> No one's on the same wavelength, man. Like, there's just nothing. I, I don't understand. You, uh, we're trying to play players, trying to fit them into a system, and it just doesn't work. You've got people complaining, 4-3-3, 4-2-3-1. Fucking play 1-1-8, one, one, it doesn't make a fucking difference. Or 8-1-1. One, one. Who the fuck cares? The formation makes no fucking difference. We're trying to incorporate all these players into the same system. And I can understand why Mourinho's doing that, but... It's just time that we didn't. It's time that we fucking cut ties with Wayne Rooney. Honestly, it's so annoying trying to fit him into a fucking lineup. I don't care if it's not all his fault, all right? He's been dreadful for the past two years and we're still trying to incorporate him. What's the point in trying to make the team fit around him and Pogba, all right? We've bought Pogba for 89 million. We need to build the team around him. Stop trying to put Rooney in positions he can't play adequately. He was shite today again. And why is he on every fucking corner and every free kick? It's ridiculous, man. He can't take a corner anymore. Two of them went deep where no players are. Two in a row. And then he takes a free kick and he puts it short where no one is. It's a fucking joke, all right? And I don't like having a go at Wayne Rooney in particular because most of the team is fucking dire today. Ibra was terrible today. Um, fucking Pogba, apart from hitting the ball, was terrible, as I'm sure the fucking media love to say, and every other fucking player, because it's Pogba against every other team now. It's not Manchester United, it's Paul Pogba. That's all anyone gives a fuck about. So anyway, with Wayne Rooney, he needs to be dropped. We cannot accommodate him in this team anymore. Playing him in a 4-3-3 just doesn't work, if that's the formation that we want to go. But personally, I'd go 4-4-2. I really don't, don't understand how... Someone in the midfield alongside Pogba. Yes, he was poor today, but again, he tried things. He tried things. He hit the ball. If that went in, maybe we would have had something. But we're not going to drop Pogba, uh, considering we paid £89 million for him. We know the talent he possesses. He just needs to fucking find it. He needs to believe in himself. It's ridiculous. But uh, maybe play Herrera or Schneidlin, because Fellini, although he didn't put too much wrong, you can see exactly why he's a bit defensively liable. I mean, I haven't credited Watford. They were terrific today, and they deserved the win, which I'm sick of seeing against teams that play us, because three in a row, the teams have deserved to beat us. So, yeah, congratulations to Watford. I know I haven't said that because I've been so infuriated infuri about everything else. But yeah, play Schneidlin or Herrera in a 4-4-2, then, I don't know, or 4-2-4, 4-3-3, it doesn't really fucking matter. I mean, we played what you thought was a was a decent lineup today. We have Martial, Ibra and Rashford, but of course, Martial, we accident, like, accidents happen, but of course it had to happen, didn't it, early in the, uh, in the first half. He goes off injured because of concussion, it seemed, even though he tried to stay on for the next 10 minutes, and then... For their uh, Watford's first goal, you know, he's, he's clattered into a bit, but they got the ball. It's 1-0. And then we got back into it in the second half. Marcus Rashford, that's about the only positive. He uh, Well, I'd say our better player today. Best player was Shaw, but most people were terrible. Bailly, although he was solid in the first half, he was terrible in the second half, and he was at fault for the third goal. Um, I can't even remember. Oh, yeah, the second goal was uh, Amrabat plays it into Pereira, I think. Lovely ball across and Zuniga, who just came on 45 seconds earlier, scores, makes it 2 1. Later in the game, right at the end, again, by getting turned. Well, I say again, that's probably the first time it's happened this season, but uh, yeah, gives away a penalty and uh, Dini smashes it in to make it 3 1. So, yeah, Watford won, and all the media are going to say, and all the rival fans are going to say, is Pogba is overpriced. So, you know what? Yeah, I'm just going to end the video. So, uh, hopefully, you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video, and yeah.